This video is sponsored by Altphone iOS Data Manager which can help you to transfer data between iOS devices and computer. Hello guys, how are you? In this whole video, today I'm gonna teach you that how you can transfer photos, videos or music from your computer to iPhone. Or if you have a lot of photos or videos in your iPhone and you wanna put all of them into your computer, so this is the video for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best easiest method to transfer data between iPhone and computer. So basically, I'm going to show you two methods to transfer the data. Let's get started. So guys, if you see on my desktop, I have already created separate folders for pictures, videos and music. You can see these three folders. In these folders, I have copied some of the photo files photos, video files, and music files. If you have more than thousands photos, videos, or music files, so no problem, you can easily transfer all of them no matter how many files they are. So you can easily copy them into your phone, but you need to watch the video carefully and follow all the steps which I will show you in the video. Actually, the things are very complicated in iOS devices compared to the Android. Android devices are user-friendly and much easier to use than iPhone. But don't worry, iOS Pro Hacker is here to make the use of iPhone easier. So you can see these photos, videos, music files right now in my computer. Let's go and transfer them to the phone. So in the iPhone, first connect it to the Wi-Fi, open the App Store and download an application called Documents. This application is actually the best one for managing the data. So search it on App Store and download it. I personally use this application in my daily routine to transfer things between iPhone and computer. It's totally free, don't worry. This application actually works with all the files. We can manage photos, videos, music, books, documents, Excel files, any file so install it on your phone after installation it will show up on the home screen open the app and now it will ask you to set up the application just do what I'm doing now Okay, now let's go back to the computer and here we actually need a software called iTunes. It is the Apple's official software to manage our iPhone. So you need to install this iTunes software in your computer to transfer the data from computer to iPhone. You will find the link of it in the description of this video. I have already installed iTunes in my PC. So uh, now let's open iTunes. And now make sure to connect your device to the computer. If you are connecting your iPhone for the first time, you may see this type of screen. Tap on continue. Now make sure to quickly cancel the sync process on the top you can see. Otherwise iTunes will sync uh, the data, the photos, videos and music files between iPhone and computer. And I also suggest you to turn off automatic sync when iPhone is connected. Unmark this checkbox and apply the settings. We are done now. Now here you will see the file sharing option. You need to find it. If this option is not appearing, so you may see the apps option or try to update the iTunes to the latest version to get the file sharing option right here. All right now. Open the file sharing option. Once you click this option, so you may see a lot of applications in this apps section. So just find the documents application and double click on that. Now, as you can see, here are three folders which I have created. I have copied music files in the music folder, photos in the pictures folder and some videos in the videos folder. Now, I am gonna drag and drop these folders in the iTunes 
and the iTunes will going to copy them into my iPhone documents application. Uh, now, as you can see, the iTunes copying the files to the iPhone. It may take time, depends on the data that how many files you are trying to copy. Now get back to the iPhone and here you will see the iTunes files folder. Here you can see that these three folders which we have just copied from our computer, videos, pictures and music folder you can also preview any of the file in this document application also but right now i will uh, move all of these files uh, into my iphone photos application it is right now just presented in the documents application but now i will try to and copy the files which are right now in the documents application so we will uh, copy them into the photos app uh, to move these files into the photos application now open the itunes files folder in the documents app now let's try to move the pictures first uh, just select all uh, photos and now uh, tap on the move button you can see at the bottom and now select the photos folder here now tap on this option tap on ok and now you can tap on the move button to start moving all the pictures from the documents app to the picture uh, to the iphone photos application now the pictures are moving from the documents application to the photos app on the iphone done now let's try to move the videos also the same method select all and tap on the move button select photos option and tap on the move now the photos and videos are gone to the photos application now we can delete these two folders in the documents because these folders are now empty now as you can see in the photos application now let me just first open it as you can see in the photos application all the photos videos are transferred into the iphone photos application from the documents app what we did first we did copy the files to the documents application and then move files to the photos application from the documents app this is the simple and very very easy method let me tell you that if you are transferring the videos so keep in mind that the format of the video should be mp4 or mov otherwise you will not be able to transfer the videos if you are trying uh, if you are having trouble in transferring the videos you can also try to convert uh, the videos to the mp4 format before transferring so guys this is the way you can transfer this is the way to transfer the photos videos into the iphone from the computer the very easy the best method if we go back to the documents app here we have music files music folder which we have copied from the computer we actually cannot move the music files from the documents application to the iphone music library yes we can play them right inside the documents application but unfortunately we cannot move it into the iphone official music library application but still it is not bad you can copy music files into the documents application and play them right from there it also supports background playback so you don't need to worry about it it works same as iphone music library uh, and as you guys know that this video is sponsored by Altphone iOS Data Manager. So I also want to show you the tool which can help you to transfer your music files from your computer to iPhone music library. Not just music, Altphone iOS Data Manager comes up with a lot of features like you can transfer thousands of photos, videos, music, books, voice memos, anything between iphone and computer in just a single click 
this tool is available for Windows and Mac and using this tool transferring data is much easier it's a one-click process if you have like a lot of photos videos in your iPhone and you don't want to waste your time you don't have time uh, if you want to copy all the photos from your computer to iPhone or iPhone to computer you don't want if you and you don't want to waste your time by installing the documents application putting all the data into the documents app from your computer and then move them into the iPhone photos app so uh, forget forget it forget about all of these steps that I've shown you in the video just go ahead install the alt phone in your PC you will find the link in the description of this video I have already installed this software in my PC so let's open this software and let me show you how it works now connect the iPhone to the computer and come inside the manage tab uh, in the software alt phone software so as you can see guys all the photos which are on my iPhone are now appeared in the computer so now from here I can easily export any of the photos to the computer or I can also import the photos directly from here but this is the trial version of it trial version only supports to transfer 10 files that's bad but if this software is helpful for you so you can buy the full version of it so you don't need to install any additional application like we did before we have installed like documents application itunes in our pc and we did a lot of uh, stuff to transfer photos but using this alt phone this is the one click process you just need to select the photos and just import it into your iPhone directly from here you don't need to do any additional steps you don't need to install any additional software but right now this is the trial version and it only supports to transfer 10 files if it is helpful for you if you find it is if you find helpful uh, this software so you can buy it so I've tried to export some of the photos or videos uh, to my computer and as you can see on my desktop the files have transferred it's very simple and easy to use as you can see on my desktop the photos and some videos uh, which I've exported are there now I'm gonna delete them um, one more trick uh, yes one more trick I wanna show you that you can also manage your photos of your iPhone directly from your PC without any software you don't need any additional software just go inside your PC you will find your Apple iPhone folder or something like that and open it up to show all the photos you may not see all of them but you may see a few photos but this might helpful for you you should know about this trick now you can directly copy the photos to the computer from here and paste them anywhere you want I'm gonna paste it on desktop just to show you guys that how it works uh, let's get back to the alt phone so uh, here we have some more features like you can manage your photos albums and uh, in the audio tab you can manage songs music files uh, you can directly import the music from your computer to iPhone music library from here or if you have already downloaded some music from iTunes library it will going to show up here so you can export them to the computer next we do have some ringtones option to create custom ringtones in your uh, in our iPhone and voice memos manager to import or export the voice memos and the videos option uh, the next option is the videos option to import uh, the videos into the iTunes library or Apple's TV application uh, these videos are not those videos which we record from the camera we do have uh, the contacts option in the alt phone software to import or export the contacts as well but make sure to turn uh, the contacts off from the iCloud uh, otherwise you will not be able to manage it 
here you can also manage your messages and all the applications um, if we do have a, um, we have an application manager right here uh, to delete the applications in the bulk uh, that's it guys in the last we have books option to import export the books and the bookmarks option we also have a backup and restore option in the alt phone software to create a full backup of your iphone's data like if you have thousands of photos in your iphone and you want to copy all of them into your computer so you can easily create a full backup of your photos in just a click not just photos it works for any type of data like contacts text messages whatsapp chats all the applications data uh, this backup is same as iTunes backup so I don't recommend it so as I said that guys this is a sponsored video by Altphone but I personally don't recommend this software the only reason I'm creating the video is because they paid me if you are looking for a good data manager software for your iPhone go for iPhone box or 3 tools these softwares are totally free and best ones you can google it and download it so thank you guys for watching the video I know it was a boring video too boring video and that's why I will not ask you to like the video so see you later in the next video have a good day